Man Max, Fury Road. Love it, hate it, judge me as you will. I was hoping that we would get an update at San Diego Comic-Con about Furiosa. Now, I'm not necessarily 100% thrilled that we're getting a Furiosa movie when I want Mad Max movies. However, it was a little shocking that George Miller, who's notoriously like, you know, poking his eye in the bear, like, you know, poking the bear's eye, like, like you know, being, being the person going against the grain. And he didn't like send over like a 30 minute teaser or something very generic just to, I don't know, antagonize everybody because he kind of gets off on doing that. So if you're not familiar, Furiosa is sort of a a prequel story um, set within the uh, Fury Road universe. Um, This is actually on IMDb. So this is just a video they put together. It actually is not too bad. Five years after the Fury Road thing, talking about this film, and then they talk a little bit about some of the things that uh, made it successful in 2015. And then some of the different articles that have come up about the film that they talked about. He was wanting to do like two or three more films, one called Wasteland, things like that. Um, But here's what we do know. We do know that um, uh, Anna Taylor-Joy who I've really, really grown to really enjoy her work. The menu I thought was such an underrated film. I couldn't believe it was ignored, but she's done really good stuff. She's basically going to be the precursor of the uh, Shirley's Throne character. Um, Chris Hemsworth is going to be in the film. Now, IMDb doesn't have Hemsworth listed as Dr. Dementis, but he is rumored to be Dr. Dementis in this whole Mad Max universe. So that was interesting. Um, another character that is definitely actually been confirmed and that was Nathan Jones, who's going to be Rictus Erectus. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. I know, I know, uh, war boy is going to be in it, um, different characters. And there is some talk that, you know, maybe there will be, um, you know, a uh, uh, Tom Hardy cameo or something like that. Maybe a flashback flash forward. I don't know. <sighs> Do you want to see a Mad Max film? Do you want to see more of this type of stuff? Am I sort of like on an island where I don't mind? I love the fact that George does practical work. So much of it is practical. He has grand ambitions. I'm not sure some of this stuff will ever pay off within his lifetime. Like we may end up with stuff getting passed to someone else. And this IMDb video is really about self-promotion as much as it is about information. Um, but I want to be honest, there has been a lot of people sort of attached and moved around with these different films, which is typical of George Miller. Um, he's very much in control of all this. So it's not like I'm out there, out there fearing that it's going to be hand off right now in his lifetime to someone who's not going to know how to play with it. Um, but that's not the case. And they reference things like New Mutants and Queen's Gambit. No, reference the menu and, and some really good stuff. Hemsworth, of course, is going to. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention. Um, yeah, I don't know how to say his name. I always say it wrong. Um, uh, Yaya Abdul Mateen, which you know is Black Manta in the Aquaman movie. Um, he's had many other roles, which I've actually really enjoyed. Um, I don't think I really cared for him as the Morpheus in that that terrible film, but he was in a Watchmen TV show. I didn't care for that show, but but I don't know that I am criticizing him or his performances. I think he has been fine. Um, but anyway, he's, he's attached to this as well. Uh, but I don't think we know what character he is supposed to represent. So, uh, but I, 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 you know, again, I had grand ambitions of thinking that we might get uh, furiosa as like a little tease or something like that. Um, so we really haven't had anything for a while and I'm a little, I'm a little sad to be honest. So, um, George will work on projects though for like, years so i i won't be shocked that there's already stuff done and in a can and he's just trying to you know work and fill in around it um this was like i i don't know i don't even know what this was what this is for but this is one of the things that was done put out there as promotional type stuff and i was like wait a minute is that is that her because if that's her that's wicked and that means they actually have been doing filming so but the logo's been out there those kinds of things so um I haven't spent a lot of ton of time on it, 
but I had like a little, like a tick mark with San Diego Comic-Con. I know about the strikes. I'm, I'm well aware of the strikes, but I thought, was it being, being the ornament, you know, oil and water. He's like that kind of guy. It's just, he's that kind of guy. So anyway, that was my take on it. I thought I'd, I'd share with you guys. No update is the update. Sad pops. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Take care, everybody.